folks, today I'm going to talk about how I made this shark patch. I'll talk about how I did the gradient, how I added this special sparkle effect, and best practices for when you're embroidering and designing patches. So here's the first iteration of the shark patch, the first stitch out of it. I wasn't particularly pleased with the color choices that I had made or the blue twill. I didn't really like that. I also found that the gradient was far too dense and the layer, there was too many layers. And so I went back to the original design to finesse the design and to make sure that there were no hard points in the stitches because where I had the tie ins and tie outs, I think there was like 27, which was far too many. And it was causing these hard points in the in the patch design. So here's the second stitch out that I had I had made. I changed the color of the twill and I changed it to gray. I decreased the density of the gradient and some of the layers and finessed the design in general. So it did look better. It did stitch out better, but I still wasn't happy with the color combination. So I went back to the design again to change the colors and to finesse it a little bit more. And here's the final stitch out. I ended up changing the color of the twill to a dark navy blue. I added more teals into the threads, and which I love teal. And I was really super happy with it. I also changed the density of the layers even more so I could put that cellophane behind the, the stitches. And so it will give that sort of iridescent sparkle when you move the, the patch around. The software I use is Hatch by Wilcom. And now I'll show you how the design stitches out. When I'm designing patches, I try to connect as many elements as possible to limit the number of trims. And this helps mitigate hard spots in the design. Uh, fewer trims will also help your production time as the design will stitch out faster. This patch takes about 20 minutes to stitch out at 700 stitches per minute. I use layers of tatami gradient fills to create depth and shading. And there is a gradient tool in Hatch, but I prefer doing them by hand. I use satin stitch for areas I wanted more impact, highlights, and for outlines. And satin stitch reacts differently uh, than tatami and looks shinier, so it's, it's perfect for, for highlights. Now I only outline part of the design, using it to define the shape of the shark and give a greater uh, sense of weight to certain areas. Now this design only uses five colors, but the layering, gradient, and cellophane makes it look as if more colors were used. And placing the cellophane behind the stitches creates the sparkle effect and actually picks up the colors of the, the threads and the background. And here's what it looks like all stitched out which I think it looks really fun. It looks like a, a school of sharks swimming in the ocean. And you can see how much that cellophane picked up the navy blue and the color of the stitches. Uh, so you can just kind of see that shimmer and that will come through the, the gradient from uh, the back of the stitches. So what I'll do now is take off all that cellophane, add some heat and bond to the back, heat press it, and then cut them out individually. After that, after trimming the, the patches individually, leaving it about a two millimeter um, edging around it, I will go very carefully with my hot knife around the edges of the patch to clean it up and to meld the stabilizer to the twill. And this is what it looks like at the end. All right, thanks for joining me on the shark patch journey. The materials that I used were poly twill with an adhesive backing, uh, cellophane, some heat and bond, and then two and a half ounce black cutaway. I'll put links to the supplies in the description.